Let's move on to the new Wonka trailer is hit. I don't think it's out until later in the year, uh, possibly next year. I forget exactly when it's out now. But yeah, the new Wonka trailer is coming out, telling the prequel uh, to how Willy Wonka became Willy Wonka, a movie that nobody asked for. Because yeah. in the in the original movie, the whole air and mystery of Willy Wonka is what makes him magical. But so let's make a movie and explaining all that and taking all that wonderful, you know, thing away. The backlash is, if you have seen the trailer, the Umpa Lumpers, which have just uh, been famously paid by uh, actors in the original movie and then in the Tim Burton version, all of them were played by Deep Roy, uh, a man, again, who, who suffers, who, who is a, um, a dwarf, suffers dwarfism. In this new movie, the Umpa Lumpers are played by Hugh Grant, the famously six foot tall actor. This has kicked off a bit of a stink <laughs> in, obviously, uh, the Actors Guild of people who have dwarfism. Again, a minority, but obviously we only care about certain minorities these days. Uh, not all of them, obviously. Um, did you see the trailer? Did you see the Wonka trailer? No, I have not seen the trailer for this. <laughs> um, yes, thank you, Eggy. Midgets lives matter. They yep. really do. They it. really do. You know, they, 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 you know, they're having a hard time of it anyway. No, they can't reach things on top shelves and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm going to be have to be careful with the jokes. Um, <laughs> midgets, like midgets, are people too. Even small. I don't think they people. like. The I don't think they like the term midget. So you've got to refer to them as people with dwarfism or dwarves. I thought it was small people that they wanted to be called out. People who are vertically challenged. <laughs> Um, but anyway, but the trailer for the movie looks awful. It's got Timothy Chalamet as Wonka. There's apparently a chocolate cartel which won't let him sell no. his chocolates. It's Stop. just it's when I saw the Umpa Lumpa as Hugh Grant, I you could I could I was my eyes rolled back so much in my head I was looking at my own ass. It was it was terrible. And yet you've got actors who let's face it have a hard time making a living you know you've obviously got people like peter dinklage and so forth who you know who've made a great career out of this but unfortunately you know he gets wonderful roles but i mean how many you know uh actors with dwarfism can you mention warwick davis yeah thank you for giving me one <laughs> but yeah, what's exactly. his name? uh billy bergham or something um oh billy Barr. yeah yeah billy Barr. yeah um, I, and there was also, I mean, yeah, I, uh, see, to me, I immediately went to the movie, um, what's it called? Time Bandits. Yeah. Because, <laughs> again, you had those guys in there, Michael Rappaport and so forth. Oh, and um, Jack Purvis. But, again, it's they find it hard enough to find work. And then Peter Dinklage stands up saying, oh, it's not fair if you're doing Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, even though it's called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Right. <laughs> to then take the dwarfs out of it. You know, because it's it's being offensive. So on the one hand, you're being offensive towards short people. On the other hand, you're then not giving them work. Yeah, it's... I don't, I don't understand that his his thought process. I mean, like, I just feel that it's just that victim mentality that he's like looking. I I think that's that that has to be what his his end goal is. Is like, how can I make it seem like things are not good for me as a midget and my midget brethren, and and so I mean... they go on this kind of tirade. Yeah, in some respects, obviously, life has been hard for them. I know a friend of my dad's had dwarfism, and I remember once I was walking down the street with him, and this lad and his dad were walking the other way, and I heard the, the, the kid whisper, Daddy, why is that man so small? And obviously, you know, because because he's short, because he's got dwarfism and so forth. And, and uh, uh, this friend of my dad's actually explained to the kid it was quite nice. But, yeah, they've had a hard life. I completely and utterly get that. But then to sort of go on the rampage so that your fellow dwarves don't get work? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how that works out um, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's you're 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 overshooting, you know, just stop. <laughs> do you know do you know what? Kurt Kurt's just made a good point there. He just said Lord of the Rings used normal actors also. Yeah, that's true. No, none of the hobbits were hobbits, were they? Well this <laughs> they were all <laughs> they were all yeah um normal sized people if that's the expression is that is, I, I i i never know with the expressions what's offensive and what's not i try not I, mean, I know <laughs> i know a few i know i was gonna say i know a few that we're not supposed to say but <laughs> yeah there's there's the the, the, the minor ones not sure <laughs> um 
but yeah that is true in lord of the rings they they used uh, like kit actors at some points obviously because the hobbits were so much smaller so i mean there is that i suppose oh, yeah I I, that, I, right? and then i mean of course there's always you know uh, stuntmen you know for uh kid actors you know have, you know like yeah. the that scene from home alone where he's going across from the house to the treehouse yes. you know which is clearly not a child you know <laughs> yeah, so yeah. i mean um well, there you go, Joe Pesci. He's got um, dwarfism. <laughs> <laughs> so I should probably not say that because I, 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 I imagine Joe Pesci is the kind of man who would hunt you down and kill you. Yeah, I'm still coming through your door right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Joe. <laughs> yeah, you are funny. <laughs> funny, funny how? Um, okay. Well, uh, uh, before we move on, uh, I, I so um, uh, what? So what, is, are, is he? Uh, is he playing a dwarf for, or is it Oopa Loopa? Like, in, is he on his like knees? Like, or is he, is, is, in, is he in, just the, in the trailer? In the trailer, uh, Willy Wonka is sat down at a desk, and on his desk, he's got like a, a glass globe thing, which is about, say, a foot high. And inside there is his Oompa Loompa, who's, who's Hugh Grant. And the, the CG, they have shrunk his body, so he it looks like he's got dwarfism. <laughs> Which is actually more offensive. Now I think about it. You would think that's, so. That's, that's even worse. But yeah, apparently. But whether he plays like a single umpire, but that's another thing as well. Just to mention that um, in in the original, I'm just trying to think how they talk because they sung in the original, didn't they? But yeah, they, they didn't actually talk. talk. It was and like, in, dun, in dun, the dun, dun. Tim Burton remake, Deep Roy never spoke. He only sang. In this one, Hugh Grant talks with his own accent. So Willy Wonka said that he met these people in in darkest Africa, <laughs> and yet they oh, all seem to talk like this. Hello, I'm an umpa lumpa, and I I make chocolate for a living. And it's like, hang on, again, this is one of those horrible Hollywood situations where it's kind of oh we've run out of creative ideas, so let's explain, you know how yeah. how Willy Wonka became Willy Wonka. It's just oh, it's awful, awful. Yeah, stay okay, tuned okay. for the, the the prequels of Harry Potter where we learn how the castle and the school oh. and everything was built. And yeah, stop! I was, like, say, I was just no, no, no. Didn't they do that? Isn't that what um what's it called? Uh, uh, Wild beasts and where to find them? Is it? That's what that is, isn't it? I thought it was just a side thing. No, like, no, I've, no I've never watched those. He's got a young. He's got a young. Oh, what's his name in it? The bloke who runs the place. Oh, Dumbledore? Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. I've only seen it's the, the one Dumbledore. Harry Potter movie, somehow I knew that. Um it's got the young Dumbledore in it. So yeah, it's a okay. prequel. Well shit. So they've uh, done that already. You know, I thought I was making um... a clever joke and Hang on a minute, we've got a comment there at the Chocolate Cartel. I know, it's ridiculous. Um, Gary Oldman played a movie Yo, yeah, once, right. some romantic movie in the nineties. He was literally walking yeah. on his knees trailer was hysterical i now have to find that film and hey, it has matthew it. mcconaughey in it too i believe I've, like, and, I've got to find this now when you're typing in a search engine it's 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 um very important to spell correctly because if you do spell, misspell gary oldman you can spell gay old men yeah um, you're gonna get lemon party <laughs> Uh, oh now see you shouldn't mention things like that and annoyingly i know what that is as well um, anyone that um, doesn't on, go look it up <laughs> no don't not from a not, not from a um uh, a, a recommendation from here hang on fifth of we're only reading. any ideas what it was called jfk henry and june thingy state of grace not landing oh, uh, no, i'm gonna have to find it now hold on let me see this is what you pay to see. If we find out what it is, he was in the Guns N' Roses music since I don't have you. I didn't know that. Uh, a, a Leon, obviously, Immortal Beloved, Murder in the First, Scarlet there. Oh, hang on, here we go. No, no, it's not that one. Um, oh, I'm going to have to find that now. I'm really going to have to find that film because that sounds great. Because he's done some great stuff, you know, Lost in Space, Air Force One. I quite like Lost in Space. It's terrible, but it's like so terrible, it's quite good. Um, I think it's called Tiptoes. Really? Yeah, because it's the only movie That's... that I see here with Gary Oldman and Matthew McConaughey both in it, and it's Peter Dinklage in it too. 
who wasn't on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Peter? He's on his knees again. Peter, stand up. <laughs> I'm not seeing it here. Oh, I'm going to have to find it though. It takes two Jesus contender. Oh, tippy toes. There we go. Tiptoes. Sorry. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that. Story in particular of Triangle involving two brothers. Oh, I see. So Gary Oldman, I take it, played the the Peter. <laughs> Gary Oldman played Peter Dinklage's brother. <laughs> no, actually, I, I think uh, him and Matthew McConaughey are brothers. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's oh. how, how it worked. It's, I found it and I, it's going on my uh, on my watch list because uh, this sounds this sounds awful. Yeah, no, that's definitely going on the watch list. Thank you for that recommendation. Um, I do love a good crap B movie, uh, which is great because I get quite a lot of them nowadays. Um, going to see anything? Uh, Tiptoes. Yes, I found it now, Chad. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Oh, that's, that was worth it just for that. <laughs> That was an excerpt from The Outpost Frequencies brought to you by the last movie Outpost.com. We hold a live stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. on Central Time and 6 p.m. UK time. You're welcome to join us. In the meantime, make sure you visit the last movie Outpost.com for all of your movie news, reviews, and everything cool about film. Ugh, so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs>